Good morning, everyone. I'm sorry. Come on. It's around 7 a.m. We didn't get done yesterday with finding Carter until uh, around 3 a.m. I started driving directly after that. Pulled over. Probably slept maybe two hours, two and a half hours. Um, headed back now. I gotta take care of some stuff for a couple days and then uh, head back out. Major casting call over the weekend. I'm gonna try and make that one. I'm not gonna try, I'm gonna do it. And then uh, Saturday is actually a. I believe it's a workshop. Um, and there's going to be well over 200 some people there, from my understanding. So it's just a matter of getting seen, even if I'm not, you know, no one directly talks to me. Like, I guess there's going to be some, quite a few directors that go to this workshop. Kind of, it's not really a workshop, but I don't really know how to describe it. Um, I know it's for a talent, casting, or acting, acting coaches, and they're holding some type of event. Now, I'm not with these guys, but I did happen to stop by uh, just to ask her some questions, and she she informed me what was going on, and she said, I was more than welcome to show up. You never know, get discovered for bigger things at that point, or show up my face, and a lot of these casting companies are definitely seeing that, uh, and studios are seeing that uh, I'm serious and I'm taking it seriously. Just got to stick with it. I am tired. I am exhausted. And, um, so I'm probably gonna I probably won't see a video or anything until probably a couple days. Last night will be the first time that you guys actually see me on screen, and I'm constantly picking at myself. I'm sunburned, so I'm peeling. I got skin, dead skin all over me. It's disgusting. Um, so last, yeah, that'll be the first time you actually see me on your TVs. Um, and the episode or the new series starts in August, I believe, for uh, Finding Carter. It's on him. I will be uh, playing the bartender. Um, can't really give anything else away. Be looking forward to that, and then many, many, many more coming at you. I'll just say this real quick, and I'm not going to get too serious or anything. But uh, you know, when I went to hike the Appalachian Trail, there was an initial, you know, why we were going to do it, what things to look forward to what I was striving for um, afterwards. Everything was said and done. Um, some people have chosen to, unlike our page, some people um, have chosen to not support. Uh, I'm still firmly you know, wanting to end uh, free discrimination. I mean, I, I, I'm fighting for that every single day this is the platform that I get to be able to do that that gives us a, a huge advantage over everything so people see and acknowledge what's going on with the pit bulls. Um, I want Moose to do a lot more things. I want Moose to be seen a lot more. You know, I'm working on, you know, getting him in a movie role. You know, he deserves it. He, you know, very much deserves it. It's not easy, you know, especially, you know, for a dog, it's not that they don't trust, you know, those kind of things. But you know, they have to worry about insurance, and, and you know, it depends on what locations you're at. You know, and these, and it's not because he is, you know, quote unquote a pit bull. It's, you know, there's liabilities on everything. You know? Moose being moose, moose would never do anything to jeopardize himself. Um, everybody that knows moose and been around moose knows that he can, you know, vouch for it. But people don't. Know. So that's why it takes time, you know, and I, I, I meet all these people um, 
at these, uh, you know, when we do the, the filming and all this stuff, and I inform them who we are, what we did, you know, what Moose, you know, accomplished, um, just himself. So the word's definitely getting out there. It's very slowly right now. It's not like when we did the trail, you know, uh, that was a uh, that was a pretty big deal, and that's what that's what sucks, you know, because the journey was about me taking a negative out of my out of my world and trying to make something positive and taking Moose's world, you know, something very much negative and try and add positive to it, and you know, and show everything you know, in a better light and, and that man can change. Dogs are not disgusting animals. I'm not gonna gripe or anything like that or complain. I'm just just saying that it, it sucks that whether it's family or friends or people that I've never met um, that only jump on you know the, the trail thing um, because it was cool at the second. Um, I wish you guys would you know continue to support us and you know this was the initial deal. I'm not saying that I wanted to be famous, and who doesn't want to be famous, but the whole point was to um, reach people at a higher, you know, higher scale, and um, I found something that I enjoy, and I'm not negative in it in any way, and um, I'm not doing the things that, you know, that I shouldn't be doing. Ten years ago, I would have never been able to. I'd probably be in jail or, you know, even the negatives. So, I think everything happens for a reason. It was the perfect timing. It was the perfect now. Now let's get it done. The doors have been open. I'm stepping through it. And I need people that say they love me and people that say they support us, you know, to understand that, you know, this is it. I'm trying. I really am. I don't want anybody to think that uh, I'm not. Just follow and enjoy. Alright, I'm out. I gotta drive. I'm exhausted. And I gotta leave. Get to where I'm going. And then go to work. After I pick up the books. Love you guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.